to the head and not necessarily concussions are to blame for the chronic brain damage known as CTE. 13 Wham's Antoinette Delbell spoke with a former NFL player as well as a doctor who weighed in on this study. Roland Williams. Former NFL player and Rochester native Roland Williams has taken a lot of hits to the head during his time on the field. It, it is a violent game. You know, it is, it is one that requires a lot of contact. Hard contact that can often lead to concussions, which many researchers believe is the main cause of the degenerative brain disease, CTE. But a new study from Boston University disputes that theory. Researchers there found CTE isn't necessarily directly related to a concussion, but repetitive hits to the head. Williams says it's a wake-up call for the NFL. I think other sports are now starting to adjust and make sure the game can survive the, the, the bigger, faster, stronger athlete. Through the sinuses. Local neurosurgeon Dr. Petralia says the link between CTE and numerous hits to the head has been known to physicians for several years. If anything, he says this study brings a greater awareness to the public. This is not just about concussions. It's about head injury exposure in general. And I just think we need to be cautious about how much head impact exposure some of our, our athletes are sustaining. Especially, he says, when it comes to children. Limiting the amount of head impact exposure, especially in our youth athletes, while the brain is maturing, is important. As for Williams, he says he knew about the risks when he was drafted for the NFL, but says he wouldn't give up those experiences on the field. So if I knew what I knew back then, I still would have signed up gladly to play the game of football. I love this game. Uh, with all my heart. In Rochester, Antoinette Delvell, 13 Wham News. And Dr. Petralia says while this study adds to the understanding of CTE, more research needs to be done.